Hello drummers, Gary Williams here, and today I'd like to talk about how to play a fast jazz ride pattern. It's difficult to control the rebound of the stick, but it's necessary when you're playing really fast tempos because your wrist really can't move as quickly as a stick can if it's bouncing. So to start with, I think the best thing to do would be to discuss the type of method of stroking the cymbal to begin with. So I can move my whole arm. That would almost be too much. At this point, I'm just going to move my wrist. If you look at my hand, it's almost like I'm flicking water off my hand. This was the technique that I learned from Jeff Hamilton. He described it this way. Or Jim Chapin would talk about like flicking mud off your fingers. So the idea is you're just tossing or throwing the stick toward the cymbal, and then you're going to catch it. But to begin with, since many drummers like to wrist a lot of things and don't really work with rebound as much, I think a good idea would be to take your stick, find the balance point, find out where it balances the most by experimenting with dropping the stick, moving it different points. If it's too far back, it bounces too quickly. If it's too far up, it barely bounces at all. So you need to find out where that spot is on the stick. Okay? then I think the best thing at this point would be just to elevate the stick to almost 12 o'clock, not quite that high up, if you're imagining a clock, and just throw the stick into the cymbal. Notice how I just have my thumb and my index finger, and these three back fingers are not touching the stick. I really just want the stick to be free to bounce as much as possible. So, so I'm looking at my hand the whole time. So there, I let, let it bounce, and after three times, I just grab it. Now if I pick it up again, then I'm ready for the next three, and don't have to hesitate between each movement. So here's separate movements. Oh, got four. So it's a matter of dropping and then picking up. There we go. See, I picked up the stick that time. So it's almost like if you think of four sixteenth notes, one E and up, two E and up, three E and up, four E and up. I'm literally thinking of lifting my stick up on the uh. Up, 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 up. So at that tempo, my hand's moving down, up, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now to kind of get this movement faster, you're actually going to have to pull up on the third stroke. You don't have as much time to go up, up. It's just not going to work as you're going. So to get there, a push-pull type of technique or an open-close technique works very effectively where you learn to throw and catch. Throw and catch. Watch. So I'm literally opening and closing my hand. If you just sat there and just opened and closed your hand, you would notice that as you open your hand, your fingers extend. As you close your hand, you could almost close it, but you kind of want to bring your hand up into a bit of a fist. So you see that little bit of a arch or arc in my hand. So I'm trying to open, close, open, close. So I start with the throw and then the pull or the open and then the close. I'm using the back fingers to close and the thumb and index finger is the pivot point or fulcrum when I throw the stick. So literally opening my hand and closing my hand. And then I push down a little with the thumb so I get da ding instead of da dee da dee da dee da dee da ka dee da ka dee da ka dee something like this. Now if you develop that faster, then you can throw in that extra note. So So 
So it's going to take some practice to throw and catch. Kind of like handball as a kid. You just It's a small target. You've got a sensitive movement, and you really just have to experiment. It's one of those things that, though I'm teaching you some methods of doing it, it almost has to be caught and can't be taught. You just have to experiment till you feel it, until you get some consistency, and then eventually it'll all start to work out. So experiment with that. See if that helps. And then in a future video, I'm going to talk about how to comp with the left hand against a fast ride cymbal. So for now, let's see if you can develop that technique, and then we'll add the rest of the drum set as we go along. So good luck to you.